And some news this morning about gun control that may surprise you. According to a new poll, most Americans are now against it. It's a sign that we're more comfortable with guns than ever. And correspondent Whit Johnson is in Washington with more for, uh, for us on that. Whit, good morning. Chris, good morning to you. Well, it's difficult to monitor gun ownership in this country, but this new Gallup poll indicates that more and more people have guns in their homes and that America's attitude towards gun control may be shifting. Katie Barber is firing a gun for just the second time. I was uh, never was around guns my whole entire life. And Keeping an open mind. Katie went to this shooting range in Virginia with her boyfriend two weeks ago, and now they're handgun owners. I don't really think I'm comfortable with carrying a handgun around 24-7, strapped to my side yet, but you know, I, do, I do, I feel comfortable in a place like this. According to a new Gallup poll, 47% of Americans report having a gun on their property, up from 41% a year ago, the highest number Gallup has recorded since 1993. The poll also found that 53% of Americans oppose a ban on assault rifles and semi-automatic guns, the first time more have opposed than supported a ban. Even after Congresswoman Gabby Giffords was seriously wounded this year in an Arizona shooting rampage, the cries for tougher gun laws have quieted on Capitol Hill. President Obama has said little about the subject publicly frustrating gun violence prevention advocates like Colin Goddard. That morning changed my whole perspective on this country, my community. Goddard was shot four times during the 2007 Virginia Tech massacre. He says the words gun control have become a political taboo and a distraction from much needed reforms. It took me nearly losing my life to realize that, you know, we don't register guns, we don't license gun owners, we don't even do background checks on everybody. But the number of firearm-related homicides in the U.S. has dropped dramatically, from more than 18,000 in 1993 to fewer than 9,000 in 2010, numbers the NRA is quick to point out. Those rates are at the lowest record in 43 years, while gun ownership's at all-time high. It really destroys the arguments from the gun control community that more guns means more crime. Still, it remains to be seen how new gun owners like Katie Barber will shape the debate going forward. The 10-year assault weapons ban signed by President Clinton expired in 2004. Polls like this one only reinforce the growing sense of reluctance among Democrats to once again take the issue on. Chris? Whit Johnson in Washington for us this morning. Whit, thanks so much.